Hi, I'm Peter Hanneke. I'm here with Jen Quip Groundhog on the Innovation Trail at the Executive Hire Show, and we're joined by who's what's the name of this? This is this is Daisy. She's our uh, club mascot. Daisy, the club mascot, who is launching officially today the new eye range peter come over here it's a whole new range from the business and peter the first thing that strikes me not just the coloring that looks pretty cool but also you've changed some of the shapes of this we've got curves here we've got windows in the different position different positions. what's going on with the eye range and what's it all about the new design just come out of field testing these units now here for the first time people are seeing them isn't it We've launched the eye range, we thought, do you know what, we've been manufacturing groundhogs for 37 years, believe it or not, the first 3.6 metres came off the line. We thought, now is the time to give it a complete refresh. So you're right, Peter, we've put rounder corner posts, makes it look really nice. Yep. We've moved the window to the front of the unit. A lot of customers are saying that when they're sitting within the unit, the, the backs were hitting the window on the side. So we've put that to the front, and it's actually made a lot more space within the smaller unit. And obviously now we've also refreshed the interior, so it's a much brighter feel in the interior, and the seats are a lot, lot brighter inside. So one of the things we've got to talk about here is the eye that's in the eye range, folks, because this is not just about an eye at the front just because we've changed things about. The eye is really about the intelligent journey you're now going on yes. with this unit and also the things that are, are happening within the space and the data and everything else, we can get the customers. So come on, Peter, let's go and find out what that's all about. Shall we look at the battery charger first? Let's so do it, right. So, you said something there, Peter, is very interesting, battery charger. Right, what this actually means is it's not a generator. No. It's being used to charge a battery setup. Tell us about that. That significant change in the way in which we're talking now from this unit, isn't it? It is. So traditional welfare units, 6 kVA, 3000 RPM, single cylinder, air-cooled engine. What would happen is that the users, no matter if it was a standard unit or an eco unit, they would always just switch the generator on and let it run. And obviously, mm. you know, both, you know yeah. you're burning uh, fuel for no purpose. So now we've gone down to two kVA. Whoa! So six to two, folks. Two. Big difference. Yeah, yeah. and from three thousand RPM to two thousand RPM. Right. The massive significance on that is noise. If you imagine the oh, three thousand yeah. RPM bees wings, we're all going mad. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand RPM, it's do, 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 do. Yeah. so it's a much much quieter. When the door shut, you can hardly hear the engine less than one litre of diesel an hour when it's actually running. Wow, so the tank on that that we've got, how big's the tank? Well, there's a, that's a great question because in the old units, 58 litres, yep. which has now enabled us to go down to 32 litres. And obviously that fuel tank is fitted with the ever faithful fuel active system. Yeah, that we've uh, know, we, yeah. We know and love Here we that go, one. and love yeah, we've all gone through the yeah. fuel active. Yeah. So this is actually set to start at 20% state of charge. Notice I use the word state of charge, not yep. voltage. Yep. So the lithium batteries go down in the state of charge. So that this will kick in automatically at 20% state of charge and charge it to 80. And then the right. solar will do the rest. In, ah. the, in the summertime, we, through our testing, this has not kicked in once. Right, I was talking to Peter earlier and this was hugely significant. Obviously solar panels on the top, we can't actually physically see them right now because on the top of there. But what was significant is this unit has been in Scotland in the minus, super minus temperatures over the last yeah. few months that we've been yeah. having. 42 days and how many days did that actually need to kick well, in? Well, it's for? still there now, Peter. So okay. the unit's still on, still on higher there, uh, on trial. So it went on on the 20th of December, and the day it was delivered, it was minus 15 degrees up there, it's wow. up in the Highlands. So it's been there for 42 days so far. The generators run in total just over six days in that total time. 42 days, only run the generator six days. Right, this is big, big fuel savings, and this is big, big carbon emission savings, but it's not anything to do with changes in comfort, like we'd have in our electric no. cars when we wrap up warm in the freezing cold, because the comfort hasn't been changed, has it? Let's go and have a look inside. It's actually been enhanced, folks. Come on. Oh, before we go anywhere, don't forget the toilet and the lack of hum next to it now. So you can be humming louder than the actual gen set when you're on the toilet on site. So come on, let's go. Peter, we're inside 
the unit here, and this is the, one of the larger models as well of the range, yeah. isn't it? So, so this, this is, is slightly different to the smaller one. So this is the i550 twin axle, 4 360 watt solar panels on the roof, all charging the 300 uh, amp hour lithium battery uh, with the inverter. So how does that work? Yeah. It, um, it obviously charges through there and then this now runs the complete unit. There's no way that anybody can start the generator, nobody can start it out of use. So we've got the microwave, the water boiler, 12 volt fridge, warm hand wash, heating, lighting, all run through the inverter. So how that actually operates is you come in the morning and you press the on button. So it's a really, really simple operation. So somebody comes in the morning, bang, now that'll stay on for 10 hours. 10 hours, just put in that button and we're ready to go. And the unit's yeah. live. Yeah. So you think, oh, I want a cup of tea, whichever I'm one gonna is in the morning. I'm going to get a cup of tea, I'm going to press the button. So you press the button. The water boiler's now on, folks. Switch it on and away she goes. So she will take about five minutes to heat up two litres of water and then that will just tick away all day so someone can just come along and make themselves a hot brew whenever they want it. And of course, no Peter, body. I now, because it's freezing cold outside in February here, I now need hot water for my hands. Yes, now so, this is on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so now you've got the hot hand wash, simply press the pedal, and, and you've eventually got warm water coming through, and that's through the Wabasto Thermotop system. Yep. What did we say earlier? The unit's up in Scotland at minus 15 degrees. Yep. So you press the heating button. Oh, yeah, press the heating. And now the heating will kick in and blow hot air. Oh, we can feel it straight away. Yeah, there you go. You can it's hear comes. that, folks. There yeah, you go. There it is. The heat so is going straight away. So, so, God, all of that really just so simple. And it's like, you've even got a how to use me thing here. But what really excites me about this, Peter, grab your phone out for me while you can, because this is taking data from the actual use of the cabin. Now, we're not used to having data from items like welfare units, but people now need to say to people, this is the carbon emissions we're dealing with. This is how it all works. This is therefore something that people can see and use during the day, but also there's an app for that. Isn't there's an there, app Peter? for that. Yeah. So there's a VRM app. So people will say, okay, Peter, you're talking about uh, carbon reductions and all this lot. Yeah. Prove it. Well, yeah. the proof is right there. So say this unit goes on a hire for 10 weeks. Yeah. At the end of the 10 week hire, you can interrogate the data. And in that 10 weeks, it'll tell you how long the generators run, how much fuel it's used, and how much solar has been yielded from that unit. Yep. So sustainability managers within blue chip organizations will be able to run and say, look, this is how much carbon we've saved per hire. Also, folks, really important, you know, you don't want something like this to run out of fuel if it is using fuel. So fundamentally, that can have alerts to say fuel levels are down and stuff like that. Peter, look, it's fantastic. The new iRange, how can people get hold of it? Is it ready to buy? Is the factory making these right now? What's happening? These are, you can buy this one if you want it, Peter. Take it home with you now. If you've got a tow bar on you, can just <laughs> take it with you. So any orders that we take at the show today, we will deliver the iRange from the 1st of April. Not April Fool's Day, but it's from <laughs> April the 1st is our lead times. We've got the, the engine driven battery charger in stock. We've got plenty of steel. Place the orders with you in April. Fantastic. Great to see you again, Peter. Lovely to see innovation yet again Thank from Jay Quick Groundhog. Cheers, Take care. Thanks.